All right, I got my hands wrapped up. Either I'm gonna break this wall or this wall is gonna break my hand. Hey guys, it's the Hacksmith. This episode of Make It Real is sponsored by Manscaped. Well, with quarantine and whatnot, I think it's time we go back to basics. It's time to revisit my very first Make It Real project 11 years ago. Any idea what that might be? I'll give you a hint. It's from my favorite superhero. It's these Wolverine claws right here. I actually made them on an internship I had at a machine shop during my engineering degree back in 2009. Yeah, that's when I first came up with the idea for Make It Real, taking fictional ideas from comics, movies, and video games, and trying to make a real working prototype. Of course, it wasn't until the end of 2015 when I started doing YouTube full-time that things really took off. Four years later, over eight and a half million subscribers and over half a billion views, we've come a long way. We have this awesome giant facility, I've got a team of great people working with me, and we're able to do bigger and more complex projects than I ever could have done alone in my garage. But since the whole team's working from home during this weird time, it looks like I'll have to go back to making projects by myself, which means it's time to make a new set of Wolverine Claws. But this time, we're going old school and making Bone Claws. And since no one else is here, that means I can do whatever I want. Bone claws, how are we gonna design these? Well, step one, let's open up SolidWorks. All right, so these are my original Wolverine claws. They are about 30 centimeters long. Now for my bone claws, I think I'm gonna go a bit shorter because since these are blades, you can stab things pretty good with them, but bones, they're gonna be a bit more blunt. So the longer the bone or the blade is, the more leverage it's gonna happen on your wrist which means you're more likely to get hurt. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make the bone claws only about, I don't know, maybe seven or eight inches, about this long, so I can still actually use them to skewer things. Damn. All right, so I'm just gonna print this out and see what it actually looks like on my hand. All right, so I've got printed out like so. So let's cut it out with a pair of scissors. It's a bit small. Let's see, that's seven and a half inches. But I do definitely need to change this part of the design a little bit. It is not big enough for my hand, but that's why we can print out the design and actually see what it looks like before we go to any actual manufacturing. Now, the other big part of this design that's different from my old claws is right here. As you can see, on the old claws, the blade actually went back over my hand quite a bit, which makes it look cool. It goes past your, your knuckles. The issue is it's very dangerous for your actual hand. As you can see, if someone pushed the blade this way, that digs into your hand. So I'm not going to have them extend that far. I'm gonna have them end at the knuckle. Let's make those changes. All right, so now it's time to make it look like an actual bone. So I'm basically going to cut out some semicircles to represent the finger joints of, I guess, the claw or bone claw that this is trying to be. So let's see what that looks like. This might be tricky to draw. All right, so I just used a hole pattern to basically mark the center point of each joint. And now I'm going to fill it the edge away from that to hopefully create what looks like bone. Still doesn't look amazing though. That's because we need to add a curve cutout between these now. I don't know you, that looks pretty creepy to me. I think it looks like a really creepy bone finger. That's that's what we're going for, right? I might want to beef up this area because we don't want it to break off. Let's print that out and see if it fits. Alright, to cut out the samples, we're going to be using the MakeBlock laser cutter. So the neat thing with the laser box is it's actually got a camera built into the top so you can see your workpiece, which is great if you're trying to optimize material and not waste stuff from previous projects. We are getting somewhere. So it does look like we're gonna have to modify the, uh, as you call it, the pinky claw. As you can see, it gets pretty thin here, so I wanna beef that up a little bit, because we don't want it to break when you hit something. 
All right, with those changes, I think I'm pretty happy to start manufacturing that. But before we do that, I think I should get into character. It's a good thing that Manscaped sponsored this video. Now, the lawnmower 3.0 isn't actually meant for your face. Have you nicked your balls while shaving your hair trim with Manscaped? Ooh. Nothing compares, no must But I think I can make it work. Now the question is, Hugh Jackman or classic comic book Wolverine? I have not shaved in a long time. <laughs> Man. This premium shaver features a ceramic blade to prevent nicking, which means manscaping accents are finally a thing of the past. It's got a 90 minute battery for even the hairiest jobs, and it's got an upgraded 7000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology. <laughs> Giggity. Manscaped is the only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. Get it today with the Perfect Package 3.0. Your balls will thank you. Get 20% off and free shipping with code HACKSMITH20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code HACKSMITH20. Now, let's make these bone claws. Yeah, that's gonna take some getting used to. I think the hair could use a bit more gel. Anyways, how are we actually gonna make these bone claws? Well, we could make them out of bone, but as we saw in the first Wolverine movie, um, bone claws aren't actually that durable. They could just break. So we're actually gonna make these bone claws out of metal, but then we're gonna powder coat them with a bone-like texture paint to make them look like bone claws. So let's get started. Oh. All right, now we just have to clean them up with a grinder. All right, so we've cleared off all the burrs from the parts, but now I'm gonna use the grinder to actually shape the bone a little more. As you can see, we've kinda got the bones and the joints shown like this, so if we chamfer the edges, we'll be able to make it look even more like a finger bone. All right, so before I attach the handle to these, I need to actually position them so they line up nicely with my own joints. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm actually going to take filler rod and I'm gonna temporarily tack weld it to hold the claw in the position that I want before I actually attach the handle. So let's see if that works. All right, so I got some handle pieces cut. Now I just need to weld them on now that I've got the piece held in the position that I want. Woohoo, not bad. All right, now I'll just have to grind the edges so it's not too rough on my knuckles. Remove this piece and we'll be good to go. Now we just have sandblast. Ah, not bad. Now we just need to get these powder coated. Unfortunately, we don't have a powder coating set up here at the shop just yet, so I'm actually gonna drop these off at my friends who runs an automotive shop that does have a powder coater. Let's get these bone colored.
Hey, cabbage. What? something real. I'm gonna hit that wall. All right, I got my hands wrapped up. Either I'm gonna break this wall or this wall is gonna break my hand. That was freaking awesome. I felt like Wolverine there. What a good way to celebrate 11 years of Make It Real by doing a one day build making bone claws to celebrate my original Make It Real project, Metal Wolverine Claws. And you know what? This is why we do projects like this. It's to inspire others to feel like a superhero for a day and to push the envelope of technology. And it goes without saying, don't try anything like this at home. I could have broken my hand. Anyways, if you like this project, make sure you subscribe. We've got tons of more Make It Real projects on the way.